Let's create a ladder to make our layout more interesting. Pressing the O key will toggle outline mode so the geometry is more visible. It's always good to have some indication that there is ladder material because it is invisible. So we'll texture this ladder with a ladder texture. This texture needs to be offset. We can use the VTEX menu. Press the F3 key. Click the VTEX tab. Under offset texture, up or down, we can offset this texture until it fits the space we are texturing. Now we can fill this area with invisible ladder material. First highlight the area you wish to convert to ladder material, then press 0 on the number pad or open the editing menu by pressing F3. Open materials menu. Click the checkbox for show material volumes or press the M key. Click ladder to convert the selection to ladder material. Press M to toggle the visibility of material volumes. I've completed one half of our map layout. I want to take this half of the map layout, including the entities, and mirror it to the other side. This can be tricky. We will use the ink cancel command to help us. First, select all the geometry, then press N to select all the entities within the selection. Press C to copy this half of the layout. Right click and drag the selection area and press V to paste a copy of our layout. I could rotate this section of the map, but that would not create a mirrored version. That would only create a rotated version. So to do this, we're going to use the int cancel command. First select the front face press the X key. This will flip only the entities. This is only affecting the entities, not the geometry. So now that we've flipped the entities, we need to deselect them. You can find this under the ints tab. There's a command, deselect all ints. You can also press the end key, and the command is int cancel. This will deselect all the entities and leave the selection area. Now that the entities are deselected, we can flip the geometry. Press the X key to flip the geometry across this axis. Now we have a mirrored version of our map layout. Now that our layout is complete, let's try height mapping. Height mapping is only available offline. Undo and redo are also only available when editing offline. First select an area that you wish to height map. Let's create some terrain in this area. First I'll flatten this terrain. Let's find an earth 
texture. Select an appropriate grid size. Then press the H key to enable height mapping mode. This will turn the edit cursor green. Scroll the mouse wheel to raise or lower terrain. You can press the O key to toggle outline mode to make it more visible. To exit height math mode, press the left alt key. Now that our layout is complete, let's finish placing the entities. Let's make sure that there are red and blue team starts. I'll change this side to red. Also place one team flag at each base. To do this, highlight a face and open the editing menu by pressing F3. Under the ends tab, there's a create affinity. Pressing enter will create a neutral flag. We can change this to a red team flag by holding the one key and scrolling the mouse wheel. Let's copy this flag and place it at the other base. Change this flag to a blue flag. Now let's place one neutral flag in the center. With a neutral flag in the center, this map will be playable in defend the flag and bomber modes. In bomber mode, the neutral flag will be the bomb. In defend the flag mode, the neutral flag will be a central control point. We can color each team area using the vcolor command. Under the vtext tab of the editing menu, select color. Selecting blue will display the command 30% red, 30% green, and 100% blue. Pressing enter will create a blue version of this texture. This texture is now displayed in the textures tab as a new texture. We can also do the same for the red base. Now that we've placed our player starts and entities, let's add a clipping. Select area above our map.
press the zero key on the number pad in the editing menu under the editing tab open materials menu clip material will create an invisible wall that players cannot pass through this will keep players from jumping or flying out of the map to view this material we can press the M key To erase materials, convert them to air material. Air material will clear any materials within the selection area. Creating waypoints enables players to play your map offline or with bots. To create waypoints for your map, under the Ops tab, open the Waypoints submenu. Check the box beside Show Waypoints. Also check the box for Create Waypoints. You can change the game speed to 200% or greater to let you waypoint your map faster. Under set minimum number of players, you can change the default number of players for this map. Press F1 to toggle walk mode. Now walking around your map will create a waypoint path. Walking in circles or zigzag motions will create paths, preventing bots from getting stuck in corners or other problem areas. Be sure to create waypoints that connect all player starts, weapons, and flags. To save our waypoints, switch back to edit mode. Press F3 to enter the editing menu. Under the Ops tab, open the waypoints submenu. Click Save Waypoints. This will create an additional waypoint file along with your map configuration file, the map file, and the map screenshot. To delete waypoints, select an area that contains the waypoints you wish to remove. Type the command del cell waypoints. This will remove all the waypoints within the area you selected. is completed and we've saved waypoints and placed all of our entities. You can load it in any game mode to test it or play it on a server with others. <laughs>